Sunday. <sighs> I feel like the weekend went by so fast, per usual. Um, but hi guys, hey ladies, it has been a while. I'm super excited, this is kind of like my first video in the new house. If you already read the caption, this is going to be a get ready with me. Um, I have my lights set up, my camera, you guys saw my little, you know, um, house tour. We kind of unboxed a lot more things and now I have all my equipment and my makeup unpacked so I can kind of do a mini get ready with me. I also got my BoxyCharm this month so I want to unbox that with you guys. I've been waiting to unbox it so that I can show you guys what I got. And that's what we're doing today. I I mean, this setup, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I don't mind the window behind me, but I kind of want like something in the corner, some plants or something. I just feel like it's so boring, you know, looking at just this, but I don't know. This is the April box, so I honestly don't know when I got it. I think it got shipped while I was in the moving process. So when I went to go back to my old place to pick up some last minute things, I saw it there. And we got five things this month. The first thing that we got, ooh, a body oil. Okay, so this is the Mitchell and Peach body oil. Ooh, this looks fancy. Oh, this is the packaging. It says, blended with almond oil and vitamin E, this body oil leaves skin soft and scented. So just a regular body oil. Literally smells like almond oil. <laughs> but super cute packaging. The thing I got is this smoothing serum. It's a retinol alternative. I do not know how to pronounce that name. Bakchul. And this says that it's just for like fine lines and wrinkles. Um, like I said before, when I do my BoxyCharm, I normally go for the skincare products. So um, I just get very excited about these. I'm excited to kind of try this out. When I do a kind of like nighttime routine, you guys can see what I normally do. But... Um, yeah, I love those types of things. I also got a Dr. Brandt eye cream, wrinkles, a black liquid eyeliner, which I will never use because I do not use, well, let me not say never, but I do not use eyeliner. So I just don't know how to do it. If I could do a wing, I would love to. You know, maybe I... I'll, I, have to, I have to learn, to be honest, but if I could do a fly-ass wing, then I would love to because I, every time I get my makeup done by people, I always tell them to add a wing. Um, ooh! So this is the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. Um, it's a cream blush and highlighter. Ooh, this is fire. I'm using this today. I am using this today. I was going to use my hourglass blush, but I'm using this. And that is all I got for the BoxyCharm. So like I said before, they give you this card and it kind of highlights everything that I got and kind of like more in detail of what they do, but it shows what everything is worth. Um, so the lip balm, see, I didn't get the lip balm. Hmm. I don't see a lip balm in here. It says I was supposed to get one, but apparently I didn't. Um, okay, so liquid eyeliner is $20. The body oil is supposedly $68. Eye cream, $82. My ass. Um, smoothing serum, $54. And the chip, the cheek duo, $42. And again, BoxyCharm is like $35 bucks a month. So that is what I got, um, but we are going to get right into this makeup. I actually purchased some new beauty blenders at Target. Um, these are like the Sonia Kashuk ones. First of all, huge. 
Um, I'm going to use one for my concealer and then one for my foundation. But super soft. Absolutely love them. I'm excited to see how they work with you guys. And I'll kind of show you the products as we go. All right, let's get into it. So I have not been doing, I did not do a get ready with me before on my channel just because my foundations, I felt like they never matched my skin correctly. And I don't know if it's because every time I went to go try to get a foundation, it was more of like, oh, I was always looking for like a honey or a caramel or something like that. And, um... I just figured that was always my skin tone because that's what everyone said like you have caramel skin blah 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 but I started to notice that undertones mean a lot and I'm using my Anastasia brow freeze so I started noticing that undertones mean something and I never kind of knew what undertone I had <laughs> So I was just trying out a bunch of foundations, trying them out, trying them out. And then I started, then one of my YouTubers, I, um, it's Shelly, actually, she said that Too Faced, that's where it's at, like that's what she always used, the Too Faced foundation, she's been using it for years, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of was just like, all right, nice, like I've heard of Too Faced before. And then um, I was watching Diera's videos and same thing. She's like, Too Faced, like I've tried so many foundations, but Too Faced is where it's at. So I had just bought in the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and I bought it a shade darker thinking that I was going to get tan in the summer, but that shit is dark. <laughs> I put it on and it is, it's very dark. So... Um, instead of using that, I was like, okay, let me see kind of what I can figure out, what, what, what I can do for foundation. And I'm actually using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, the multi-use one, and this is in the shade Cookie. But so I was kind of like, all right, let me see what I can do with a foundation. I cannot talk and conceal. Okay. So yeah, I was like, all right, this foundation is way too dark. You know, this is the one that I was planning on using for the summer. Now I don't have a foundation. And before I was kind of just using skin tints, which I do love a good skin tint, but sometimes you just want a little bit more coverage. So I went to Sephora. No, actually I went to Ulta. I honestly was just with the baby one day. Um, we didn't have anything going on. I just went to Ulta and I saw the Too Faced foundation. So I was like, all right, let me just see if I can find my color, you know, and I'll kind of, you know, test it out here, see if I want to get it. And then if I like it on my skin, just like in this little mirror, I'll buy it. Cool. So I tried on, of course, I went straight to like the caramels. And I just, it looked, it looked fine, but it just looked like my normal foundation. Like it's always, something is a little bit off about it. And then, um, I went and I tried honey, but their honey was a lot, it's like a little bit darker and it looks like it doesn't, it kind of, I honestly can't tell <laughs> what this undertone is, but I don't know. It was just a little bit different to me and it was something that I've never would have picked up. I never would have tried this on a normal basis because I would have been like, no, this is absolutely not my color. So I was like, whatever, let me just give it a try because clearly I think I know my color, but I come home with a foundation and it's never my color. This eyebrow looks a little crooked to me. I think I'm seeing things. So yeah, anyways, I was like, let me just try this one out to see because normally I wouldn't get that color, but let me just see it on my skin and see how it's working. So I go to, I go and put it on my skin and look. Perfect. It literally blends perfectly into my skin. I have never had a foundation blend 
this perfectly into my skin. Like, it literally just looks perfect. I feel like I should zoom in so you guys can see the match on this. Come on, lighting. Like, it's just insane. So anyways, this I saw this match in the store, and I was like, bro, this shit just blended into my skin. So I purchased this right away, and I've been using it ever since. Shout out to it, Shelly and Diera for putting me on. I finally got a foundation that works for me. All right, let me blend this in. Oh my, oh my. My mate. Hey, you made a permanent home in my head. You moving like a goddess, come my way. My way, my way. Your hips on the move, only a real one can do what you do. I caught a body, but you was the shooter. Damn. Shot me down one time, one time. Wanna hug me down a long time. Alright, we are blended. Do you see what I'm saying though? Like it just matches my yeah, I don't even have anything on my shoulders, my neck, and it just looks perfect. The the color. It just matches perfectly. So I don't know. I am very impressed by this foundation. Absolutely love it. If anyone has it already, let me know if you guys love it just as much. Or if you haven't tried it, you absolutely should because this is the best foundation I have ever used. Um, I also actually really like this beauty blender. It's blending. I mean, it seems like it blended that foundation out pretty um, effortlessly. So this is what the foundation is looking like. And then, like I said, I used that, I bought that same concealer that same day just because I was like, all right, if everyone's saying they love the foundation, they must love the concealer. And then Dior was also using the concealer. So I was like, let me just try it out. Um, Diera, she said she lets her concealer sit first um, before she blends it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cause normally I just blend it right out and maybe that's what I'm missing. Cause normally I blend it right out and then I'm just like, it just looks the same, you know? <laughs> so maybe that's what I'm missing. So I'm just gonna let this sit and um, probably just, yeah, let it sit. <laughs> I'm excited to try out this blush because this is like this perfect type of blush that I like. I haven't really been into highlighters like I used to, but I might try out that highlighter just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a review. I also got this e.l.f. HD powder to set my highlighter. So I'll let you know how this works in this video because I was looking for something to set my highlighters and I just couldn't find anything. Um, I used the Charlotte Tilbury, the number three tan, and I'll use this right now actually. I usually use this to set my um, makeup. Just blur it out. But if I put this over the highlighter, it makes it too dark. And then it looks like I didn't even use highlighter. So I was looking for something like to just keep it bright because I want my highlighter to look like a highlighter. Let's start blending this out. So yeah, I was looking for something, you know, that actually was gonna keep it light when I do blend it out so that it looks like highlight. And I didn't do all that work for no reason. I don't know if I like the top of this sponge. It's a little bit, it's a little loose. But, 
boo. <laughs> I might even go in with a lighter highlight after this. I actually think I see a difference with waiting and letting it sit in. Okay, Tiara. You can see, you see what I'm saying? Like that is what, if I didn't have to use a setting powder and I could just keep this like this, like this is how I want my face. <laughs> um, I know I have a lighter concealer in here. I'm gonna use this milk concealer. This is in beige. I'm just gonna put a little bit here just to make it a little brighter under the eye. And I'm also, <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit too, just because clearly that worked. So I'm gonna let this sit a little bit. And then I am going to bake afterwards with this powder. So let me open this up. This powder be getting everywhere. This is, this looks fire to me. This is the perfect amount of highlight. I really hope this setting powder works. Okay. Let's see what this setting powder is talking about. But you see how that little bit of, um, that little bit of milk highlight just makes it just pop in the eyes. And this is how I want it to stay. So let's see how this setting powder works. See if we get <laughs> the lash back. I personally don't keep my setting powder on for too long. I mean, I feel like it just does what it does once it goes right on. So I'm just going to start dusting this off. Okay. I think it did what it had to do. What do you guys think? I mean, it's not as bright as it is without it. I don't know if it's because the setting powder, powder mattifies it. Maybe that's why it doesn't look as bright. But it's not as bright, but I think it did what it had to do. And it doesn't look cakey. Cool. So now I am going to try out that blush duo. This is a cream blush. So I'm honestly just going to apply it with my finger. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow, I would never pick a blush color like this either. Do you guys see that? It's so pretty. All right, and then I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender. Wow, this, bl this is like a blush and a highlight. You don't even need a highlight with this blush. This is beautiful. Okay. Feeling myself. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. No, I'm playing. <laughs> okay. Um, so now that we have the blush on, I'm going to listen. I would say contour, but 
I I just haven't been contouring. I just seem it seems like every time I do it, it just doesn't come out the way I want it to. Like it it comes out blotchy. So and and I'm just you know going to the stores and whatnot, so I'm not gonna do nothing crazy. But I am gonna do a little lip gloss, a little lip liner. So let me actually wipe off my lips right now do you think i should do the lashes before the lips <laughs> you so my sister, she be doing lashes and they always look so good. I personally do not know how to do lashes, but I was like, you know what? Let me try to do them because if I know how to do them myself, I don't have to pay hundreds of dollars for lash extensions. And then on top of that, like lash extensions are just, they're too much sometimes. So I went to Elta that day, like I told you guys, and I ended up getting lash lashes there. Yeah, I bought the tweezers and everything to put these bitches on. And I cut them, I measured them to my eye. Yo, I could not do it. So, I mean, I'm going to try it again because with you guys. Yeah, I'm going to try it again with you guys because I, I think that lashes would make this look like it's simple but a lash would just make this look come together um and then obviously the lips so i'm gonna see if i can put it on and then see if we can make it do what it do yo for some reason i cannot find my scissors <clears throat> i got nail clippers though I got nail clippers though. And I watch a lot of TikToks with these fucking eyelash videos and how you're supposed to do it, blah, 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 and whatnot. But uh, it always looks so much easier on the fucking TikTok. See, I can't even get these. Okay. Yeah, it always looks so much easier on the TikTok than when you actually do it at home and these these look very long so i don't know if how much i need to cut but let's see all right i actually do not think i need to cut much of this and that might have been how i messed up last time because i cut off a lot so i'm just gonna cut off a little piece see how this works alright so this is the glue I bought let me know if this is the wrong glue but this is brush on adhesive whatever and I'm gonna brush this onto the lash And then I'm going to let it dry. I don't know how long you're supposed to let this dry for, but it's been about 30 seconds. So I'm going to just try to put it on. <laughs> Top part, the top lash. While I'm waiting for that glue to go down, I'm gonna do. The, I'm gonna glue the next lash. I'm gonna let this dry because I still feel like I probably didn't let it dry long enough. All right. 
I think that's the best that the lashes are going to get right now. So I think I cut this lash a little bit too short. That's the problem. And then it went haywire from there. So I'm probably not going to go in public with these lashes, but you guys can get the vibes of how this look would look with lashes. Um, <laughs> is this lash for me? <laughs> All right, let me do my lip liner. I actually was watching Kyra and she got a new lip liner from refi and supposedly it has like this serum on it where after you put the lip liner on you put like a base on it and it stays on all day you already know i bought it and i'm gonna review it for you guys when it comes in all right so I actually got this lip gloss from Target. It's called This Is Juice Gloss by NYX um, or NYX. And it's just like a clear gloss, but it kind of has like an orange tint to it. I love these types of glosses. Especially when the lip liner is kind of like the main event. I think this lip is everything. All right, so this is the final look. And honestly, I'm gonna peel these lashes off. Because your girl clearly does not know how to put them on. Um, I'm gonna put some mascara on <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks with that as well because I am not going out with those crooked ass lashes on. I don't even know who the fuck I was. So here is the real final look. Um, but super casual, you know, I love type, I love makeup looks like this. The lip makes it look super dramatic. But I love it. So yeah, thank you guys for getting ready with me. Like I said, I'm just gonna do some ear errands. I want to do some more videos like this, kind of do like real like in-depth get ready's with me, like eyeshadows, you know, things like that, kind of like more glam type makeup looks, but for now, this is my everyday makeup look since I'm just going to go run some errands. The baby is probably waking up from his nap anytime soon, so I'm going to go get him and do what I do. <laughs> but happy Sunday, ladies. I will see you in the next vlog. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, it's Desiree. Bye.